Dan Perry here with another C++ tutorial for Dad on Tech. In this video we'll continue looking at math functions and what we're going to do in this one is we're going to look at the logarithm functions. And there are two logarithm functions. There's the natural log or the, the logarithm based on base E and then there is the base 10 logarithm. <clears throat> now, remember, one of the things you've got to remember with logarithms is that you have to supply it a positive number, uh, and we'll see what happens if we supply with a negative number. So, let's just look at the natural logarithm of a value. <clears throat> and I've got a couple of variables here, uh, so let's just use y, and for the natural logarithm it's log, and then in parentheses your variable or your uh, number, if you're using a number. Now, remember that with the Microsoft compiler you must supply a floating point or a double, you can't use an integer value. But if we do the logarithm of y, and output it. Um, go ahead and run it. <clears throat> then we get a number of, in this case, 1.25. Uh, so there is our natural logarithm of it, of that number. And we could do it with a couple of other values. So let's go copy this. And I guess I should say that this was y. And then let's say I'm going to do the natural logarithm of, say, 10.0. <clears throat> so I could put a 10.0 in here. And just to show what happens, I'm going to put use the z value. And z is negative in this case. So it's the negative... 3.4 so let's go ahead and run that and it compiles okay it gives us the again the natural log of y I probably needed to put a couple of spaces in here clean it up make it a little more readable let's do that and just rerun it real quick <clears throat> and that's a little more readable y 1.2 the natural log of 10 is 2.3, and then the natural log of z, this funny little number again that we've seen before, well, that indicates that it could not calculate z, or the natural log logarithms have to be done on a positive number. So there's our natural logarithm, or base e logarithm. <clears throat> the other is our base 10 log. And with it, it's, it's a similar syntax. It's the base 10. And so with it, instead of log, it's log 10. Log 10. So we'll do the log 10 of y. <clears throat> we'll also go ahead and do the uh, base 10 log. I guess I need to tell us this is y the base 10 log of 10 and so I'll put a 10 in here I could do a negative number and I did, remember I do need to make it a whole number uh, I could put a negative number in and again I would get that error but let's go ahead and run this and we get for our base 10 log of y, which was 3.5, we get a 0 0.5. <clears throat> the base 10 log of 10, we get a 1. And if you remember your logarithms, you would know that uh, on the base 10, a 10 is a 1, a 100 should give us a 2, and so on. So there is our log and uh, both natural and base 10 logarithm functions uh, built into the math library in C++. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.